Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Auberge, the Daily Trader. It is March 10th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So, well, Tesla is having a little bit of a pullback day. Unfortunately, we are down 20 bucks and 67 cents. Uh, that's 2.41%. We closed at 838.30. Post market, we are down six bucks, approximately six, seven bucks. Let's look at what we have here on the chart. So yesterday, we had a good day yesterday. So we crossed the two resistance lines that we had, one at 850 and the other at 857. And uh, today we came back underneath them a little bit. Uh, so we have a red candle. So we opened higher than where we closed. So we closed at 8.38. The high of the day was 8.54. Very close to our uh, 8.50 resistance. We have a long wick at the bottom here. So uh, the stock came down, but then was pushed back up. So I see this as a nice sign. Let's go see the one hour chart. Look at how precise this is. The candle of the first hour. We, we opened right under our resistance right here. And we came back in terms of the body, pretty much smack on this now support. We had been following this because the stock was uh, decreasing a little bit. So, and we came back down to 813. So 813, this is a support that we have been following. And look at this perfection here, the body just on 813. And starting at 130, there was a big move up here and we crossed for two hours. We, we crossed this uh, resistance and, uh, and stochastic, which was lost and became underneath 60, came back above. So there was this little bit of a bump and it seems like we are trying to recover from that a little bit. And post-market now we are at 8.33. Let's go see the daily chart. So we have lost stochastic over 60 with this move. So I have to do this, not because I want to, but maybe I will have to do it again soon and putting back a green thumb up. MACD still crossed over bullish, RSI was very close to touching 50, now pulled back a little bit. And DMI is not too bad. DMI was not, was just a little bit affected by this. Let's go see the VIX and everything. There was a nice uh, drop in the volatility here. So look at this. The volatility was climbing steadily. And uh, yesterday it sat right smack on the support and today broke down a little bit. So this is great. This is going to help the stocks. And I assume that this was happening. So from 1.30 on, this was happening here. So look at this here. So from 1.30, 2.30 and 3.30, this is when it happened. And this says at the same time where Tesla took off. I like seeing this. In terms of the bond yields, the 10 year yield, yeah, still Pause a little bit today and the same thing for the two year yield. So when the yield is going up, usually it's not too good for the stock market. So we had this pause today and look, let's look at Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, so we are in the congestion zone right here. So we have this decreasing resistance. We still have not crossed it. We are going sideways. S&P 500, pretty much the same thing going sideways. Let me see. NASDAQ composite uh, remaining above 13, 13, oh, 13 remaining above, barely above, I will say. And uh, NASDAQ 100 uh, fared a little bit better. It's a good thing we have technical analysis to navigate these times because we just need to follow the resistance. Once we cross this resistance right here, then we can start looking at the stock go up and let's be patient and let's just focus on our indicators and trend lines. They will guide us and they will tell us what to do. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. You can click on my trading view affiliate link. 
I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.